What's going on guys? Musketeers here. Uh, today I want to go over a thing called whiff punishing. So whiff punishing is basically where um, opponent is tapping buttons like everybody does, you know. And they're out they're usually like relatively close to you, so you either can hit them from you know over here, or let's say you hit them from over here. Um I just want to detail a couple examples, kind of like a follow up to the uh, countering tick throw setup. This is a better mix than tick throws. You probably see this on a more higher level. So let me turn this on real quick. Okay. So let me demonstrate something for you all. Okay. So now I've trained the AI to tap down one um, every time, which I think at the lower level, like I said, I see this a lot. Um, so like I said, I make a video so people that are at the lower level to help you all get to the top level. Um, you basically see someone do this and you get punished for doing it, right? You're like, okay, how do I stop this? Um, punish, I mean, do this, like you're getting hit, right? So the way to counter this right here, see how the, how with the actual spacing is what we're going to talk about in this. Um, with punishing, I guess to describe it for it, basically hitting the opponent at a certain range that ideal for your actual attack range. Sub Zero excels at a at medium range. A lot of people think Sub Zero is a close up character. He can be, but I promise you, Sub Zero, because he has a forward one two startup that it starts up at 15 frames, and his back three, which is his back slide kick, is literally 13 frames. You can basically mix your opponent up between mid and trip. So I'll show you that really quick. So I'm gonna hit him with down four, right? Which is negative uh, nine to negative six, depending on where you're at. It, it changes in frame. Rate. So I hit it, I'm, I'm negative six, negative seven. Frame data wise, Johnny Cage has the fastest down one in the game, along with probably a couple other characters, maybe if they still left in the same. So you're thinking, can't, I can't punish that, right? Well, wrong. I can punish that with both Sub-Zero's one, two, and Sub Zero's back three, and I'll punish you for a full combo, kind of what the uh, other guys in the last video were actually put in the comment section. So, so I had to do a little follow up because I knew that, but I wanted to explain it in further detail that you can do this even with one of the worst characters in the game, my boy Sub Zero. Three eighty four, and you're in the corner. So that's almost half your health, and you're in the corner, ready to be reset. Um, another example, because like I said, that is the, uh, I'll go through both of them just so you all can see it a couple times. So down, uh, again, it's, you have to be about a character space away to get this off. So down, uh, four Oh nine, even more damage. So I'm going to do the trip starter just to show you another combination you can do. Four twenty-two, and you're in the corner. So um, between that, that is better than trying to tick throw, which you can still tick throw. Don't get me wrong, tick throw is a mind game, right? But it only works against opponents that don't tick throw. With the back down four and the forward one, um, although they can, you know, let's say they throw a meter. So I know the example. Um, I know a lot of people are like, well, I'll just throw a meter, right? Okay, so I'll demonstrate why you don't want to do that. This is kind of incorporating that micro duck we were talking about last time. So I'm going to have Johnny Cage do his enhanced shadow kick, which is eight frames, which is fast as fuck. But observe. Punish. Micro duck. But if you move, he has a lot of active frames. So you have to be careful. So observe. Or even, I can do this. You could even basically hit down four and just be blocking. You can literally make it even safer. So when I say the mind games are pretty endless with whiff punishing, man, it's so how many other. And I'm probably gonna do more whiff punishing videos, but like I said, I feel like this is pretty good because again, Johnny Cage is like the guy 
next to Kenshi. Um, and he has one of the best down ones, but even one of the best frames can be beaten if you apply the right principles. This has been Masketeers. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And until next time, peace.